What is going on Wednesday gaming type people? What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to U-Boat. Listen, I hope you're having a fantastic week so far. And listen, if you're not, just let's let's bear something in mind. We're halfway there. We're halfway done, everybody. Halfway. Let's see who we got here. V, my guy. What is up? DZKJ. Mr. Samurai Chris Kraz. What is up, Buttercups? Hope you're all doing very well. Hope you've all been having just the bestest of times. I've got a weird little hand attached to my mouse today. Oh, it's gone now. Okay, I mean, we're just going to deal with that. We're just going to deal with it. Report for duty. What's going on, my guy? Retired. What's up? What's up? What's up, all? Hope you're all doing great. Uh, all right. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping, shall we? Ooh, we need... Just all the torpedoes. Just pretty much all of them. Okay, good to know. Uh, a little shy on food here in the mess. We're going to go ahead and make sure they have lots to eat. We'll take some of the eggs out, I think. Let's just pare it down a bit. Uh, oh, no thank you, Velvet. No thank you. Is it just me? I find it... I find that very off-putting. You know, you jump into what somebody else is doing... Right? And, uh, like, I get promotion's a thing, but there's cold calling and then there's cold calling. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm the only one who, uh, finds it, uh, unseemly, let's say. Okay, we need all of the torpedoes, and we want as many good triggers as we can get a hold of. Be they T1 or T2, I'm willing to play ball with either. <laughs> and we've got very little to go, to go on here. Gosh, dang. Ah, uh, spring has sprung in BC. Fantastic, dude. Love to hear it. Uh, hope it's nice weather where you are. I mean, it's not bad. We had a little bit of sun today. Wasn't terrible. Wasn't terrible. Uh, Marcus, what's going on? Um, yeah, we need so much. Oh, we're just going to empty out the stores today, I'm pretty sure. Something tells me they're going to be having to order themselves a whole bunch of new gear after we get through with uh, taking everything they got. Oh, that's full. Oh, that's poopy. Okay. Um, storeroom. Could use a stock up. Let's go with that. A little bit of that. Good. How are we doing on the flak gun? Yeah, we're down a bit. We need more AP. Lots mo. We can't have mo. Okay. I mean, okay. It's fine. I'm sure we're going to be fine. Everything's going to be cool. Um, still no veggies. Uh, I gotta say, I'm starting to get a little alarmed at the lack of uh, vegetarian goodness here. I mean, people have needs. You know what I'm saying? People have needs. Let's take a bunch of cheese, though. Yeah, cheese. Um, do we still have... It does not look like we have any med kits left. We're going to have to get a couple of them. Gonna need a few of those guys right there. Can we stock up on more parts? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Speaking of, he's got three. He's got three. Okay, this is not going badly. We're doing all right. Gonna take a while to outfit the boat, but whatever. Interdimensional. That's correct. Yeah, that's right. Do I have Grey Wolves pack? No. No, I do not. Ah, uh, yeah, the newspapers thing. I shouldn't have turned that on. I find it uh, a little on the irritating side, to tell you the truth. Speaking of, what's going on in uh, headquarters right now? Anything we can get done? All I've got is an engineer available. Uh, so no, nothing I can get done until I get yet another leader. Just, just need leaders all the damn time. I don't know what's going on there. Crew, I believe we're okay. We've got 18 of 18 aboard. Good. We've got no survivors to drop off, which is also good. Mr. Jansen, how are we doing on torpedo loadouts? We're good in the forward. We need to stock up the stock. We also need two to the rear. Got to keep that in mind. Saw you run into the mother of all convoys. It was a large convoy. Not the mother of all. The largest convoy I ever came across was 98 ships. 98 ships I ran into in a single convoy. I was using... I might have been using a, a U-Boat Expanded back then. I'm not... I can't really remember. Yeah, it's going to take us a bit to get these torpedoes aboard, people. 
But I mean, consider all the work that has to go into moving torpedoes in, in a small enclosed space. Like, my lord. I bet it's upsetting. Um, okay, we've got to cheese the system a little bit here. We need a little extra um, time to move some stuff. So let's take some stuff we don't have. Let's take more coffee. Let's take a gun. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That'll take a few minutes to get aboard. 13 of them, to be exact. Randy C, what's going on? 98, did I sink them all? Absolutely not. I started just firing blind. Should shotgun blasts. Just launching torpedoes as willy, as nilly, as one could. All right, listen up here, uh, fellas. We're going to unload this one. Okay, apparently it takes no time to unload torpedoes. Cool. That's cool. I need more torpedoes, is what I'm trying to say. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get that one loaded aboard. Apparently it's only going to take one hour, which is odd. More news. News is happening everywhere. And we are going to play around a little bit. Let's go wait. No. Wait one. Invalid command. Okay, maybe it's... Let me see if I can remember. Wait one. Invalid command. Maybe you can't use the wait function. Hmm. Maybe you can't use it in UBE. Okay, well. Just gonna take me more time, I guess. I don't know. Let's take this crappy torpedo... Uh, there's no other free crappy torpedoes. Brilliant. Good. This one, this one, this one. Let's get some time moving so they can restock the, uh, the warehouse for us. Uh, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Why is my camera so dark today? What's going on there? Probably because there's more light in the afternoons now and it's washing me out. Still, okay, get rid of... What is going on? Why aren't they restocking the torpedoes? <sighs> Whatever, man. <laughs> okay, well... I guess we're just gonna have to deal with garbage torpedoes? Is that what we're doing? Um, did we not load that one to the rear? What's going on? Uh, pardon me, but uh, I don't understand what's happening. Can we move this? Thank you. You're going to take some help to do that, and get that done, please. On the double. On the double quick time, if you don't mind. If you're so inclined, one might say. So inclined. <clears throat> Come on, boys. Yes, it's very shiny, I promise. There we go. Good job. Good job. Yeah, buddy. Doing so good. So good with the torpedoes. Yeah. Okay, something to the stern there. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. One, two, three. I'll take this T2, I guess. Okay, that'll be fine. Hannah Talk, what's going on, my guy? Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Upgraded the computer. Oh, nice. What'd you get, my dude? BDU states that Greece has joined the Allies. Imagine that. Imagine that. Greece is part of the uh, part of the equation now. I like red lighting so I can see a little better if you don't mind. Skip All right, let's go talk to Shiny Car Guy. Um, do we need a break? Do we need the crew to have a quick break? Do you know? Um, I can afford it, so yes, we're gonna do that. Let's take a little vacation. We're heading to Bavaria. Bavaria. I don't know what their national uh, uh, anthem sounds like, so I probably just butchered it, but okay. Okay. I'm just doing my best. I'm just I'm just a man. I'm just a man. In Canada, 10 World War I era American destroyers were transferred to the British Royal Navy at Halifax. Hey, that's right here. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's... Oof. <coughs> <coughs> they really want me to get the news, even if it's days out of date. Following are not to be sunk. Hospital ships. Let's see. Apparently they're white with a horizontal green stripe. Or a red stripe. Mmm... 
Don't sink the what? Maine number one, Vita number eight, Atlantis number two, Dorkshire number twenty three, Isle of Jersey number three. What? Oh, I see. So they're identified. Okay. Numbers are painted in white on a black background at bow and stern. Okay. Vessels chartered by Switzerland for her supply, sailing under the national flag of the owners, but having the Swiss flag and the name Switzerland painted on the side. All right. So anything that says the word Switzerland on it, a green stripe, a red stripe. Okay. I could probably remember that. Um, locate military storage Bergen has begun. Okay, that's cool. Clickety, 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 click. Got it, got it, got it. Still seven days off. Oh, my God. Too many word, no read, just kill. There you go. Did you ever have this bug where the newspaper gets stuck in the screen? I haven't, no. Cosmic, what's up, my guy? Oh, explosion happened. Look at that. Wow. Hey, another level up for Mr. Jackson. Cool. He's my chief engineer. Let's see, we're going to get him something fun. Um, Let's do... Hmm, let's get him engine specialist. Why not? He's all engine-y. Let's do that. All right, shiny car guy. I would like some orders, please. All right, way down south, boring. Back up in the AM sector again. Med, we're not doing. Scap, we're not doing. Not going through Gibraltar, and I have no interest in the you get attacked by three destroyers campaign. Okay, back to sector AM, I guess. God dang, okay. Oh, we've got a war correspondent on board. Yay. <laughs> Yay. We got to save, too. Let's save. Uh, CLX pre-build. I9-13900. 4070, 64 gigs of DDR... No, definitely not DDR6. It's going to be... Or no, yeah, DDR... No, DDR5. It'll be DDR5. Not sure the motherboard off the top of my head. Yeah, it probably won't matter too much in a pre-build. Yeah. Still pretty decent specs there, my guy. Love it. All right. So we gave the order to go. Uh, it's taking a while. Oh, I see. The crew wasn't back yet. That's why. That's why. That's why. Um, where are we at again? This spots. Okay. Now, again, it's unfortunate, but here in uh, UBE... The boat will not steer uh, via any kind of rational explanations. It just steers into everything, so that's always a bonus. Uh, Cosmic, since you're here, let's go talk to the uh, war correspondent, shall we? Probably put my flashlight on. It's awfully dark in here. Hello. Yay. He's going to be fine, apparently, everybody. Everybody, he'll be fine. I hope, uh, hope uh, everybody is just as pleased about him being fine as I am. Now, as I recall last time when we steered out, uh, there was a mysterious little sandbar that the ship does not steer itself around, which is cool. So we're going to have to uh, pay closer attention, I guess. I don't know. All right. Um, as we're traversing, I think it's going to be important for our medical officer... Get himself a few of those med kits. There you go. Pop them on in there, my guy. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Now, we got to actually, like, make a course that won't kill us this time. Which, I, uh, you know, is just as annoying to me as it is to you, but uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. We can kick up the jams at speed three here. Just got to keep an eye on our route. Stupid stuttering on the map. Irritating. I think the correspondent should be asked to polish the ship. There you go, my guy. Inside the tor inside the torque tube. I like it. That's that's a great idea. Now, where was that little eyelid at? Remember? Little sandbar looking guy. Ugh, I gotta go talk to this idiot again. Come on, Cosmic. We gotta go talk to this guy again. Come on, buddy. 
No, I just woke you up, but you really need to be able to move faster than this, my dude. I get it, you're uncomfortable, you're, it's tight squeeze in here, but, uh, you know, you're a sailor. Um, what's the compressed air for? For the ballast tanks. Glad to help. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now, a little faster, please. Where was that sandbar? Maybe we've passed it this time without any kind of uh, issue. I did save. I did. Do you know if the game will let us play with it? No, I do not. I have no other info than is accessible on the Steam page. I have no secret intel. Although that'd be cool. Don't get me wrong, that'd be pretty neat, but I don't have none. Ain't got it. Beware of reefs. Yes, indeed. All right, now we are motoring. Thank the Lord. Hooray. Okay, last time we got hit with an aircraft, I believe, right around this area. Um, we may again. Only time will be the teller of things. Only time. Ugh, I need to talk to this guy again. Come on, Cosmic, we need to go talk to this guy again. Apparently he can't ask questions to anybody except the uh, upper command staff, but that's, you know, that's fine, right? What do you want? Where's the food kept? Near the toilet. Yeah, buddy. Enjoy. Enjoy those eggs. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be delicious. Uh, thanks, Yellow. Appreciate it. We will gale him with stories of when you were EXO in the Titanic. There you go, my guy. A little bit of historical data for our uh, journalist. Why not? Okay, you're not... He's not taking help with him because I didn't program him to take help. Right. That's correct. I remember now. I told him to not take any helpers. Well, didn't tell him to not. I just... Didn't tell him to. All right, we got a ship on the horizon, apparently. Uh, what do we got? Ooh, that looks like a tanker. An unknown tanker. Let us spin the bow about and uh, say hello to our tanker friend. Incoming mission from BDU, you say. All right. Uh, BDU, BDU, here we go. He's shy. How am I doing? About to do patrol number two on U-boat. There you go, Wilsron. 100%, my guy. I'm doing well. Uh, let's see. U-31 was sunk. All hands lost. Um, an aircraft took her down. Well, that's sad, isn't it? U-96 wants to talk to me. Sus tanker, you're not wrong. It's a little sus. Um, widely separated smoke clouds in BF-137. I 100% believe that because BF-13 or BF-1 is the place to be. It is the, the best spot in the whole game. Valuable radar prototype is being transported on the Aberath heading to Liverpool. She's in sector AM-467. Oh, that's cool. Probably try to remember that. This thing is showing zero flag. Oh, wait, what's this? I have no idea what that is. I would say Texas. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no clue what this weird little flag is. It's made up of little squares. I'm not a very well-versed man in the world of flags. Weird. Oh, here we go. What is it? Panama. Huh. Oh. Well. I don't think we're at war with Panama. Cool. Keep going. Gotta keep going. All right. Now, so this is where they say that uh, convoy with a prototype radar is. We're going to increase our speed a little bit because we'd like to get there. See if we can do something about that prototype radar. That'd be pretty cool, actually. If we could turn the alarm off. Okay. So why can't he go to bed? Hmm. Have I run out of beds? It would appear I may have run out of beds. That's okay. It'll be alright. He'll be fine. You can just hang out for a while. It'll be cool. Um, Skipper, you're not bringing your personnel with you lately, buddy. What's going on? Captain 1, Captain 2. Yep, they should be locked and loaded. Okay. Things should be okay. 
Too bad uh, about that tanker. It would have been fun to uh, kick this party off with a bang. Increase speed to speed five. I want to catch this convoy. 230 kilometers out, give or take. Oh, this little idiot. Um, How do they dive? There's ballast tanks. There you go. Listen, we're really busy, my guy. Really busy. Tried to take out a destroyer. Dud at the last second. That sucks, my guy. Did you have enough space? Because you need at least uh, at least 250 meters worth of room for them to arm themselves. Something to bear in mind. If you're too close, the uh, torpedoes cannot arm. You could hit them from 10 meters away and it just goes clunk. It's a clunky kind of thing. Alright, looks like we should intercept them nicely. We want to be well out in front of them as best we can. And we're going to slow down here. Okay. What do we got for weather? Beautiful day, apparently. Gorgeous. 900 yards, 800 meters. Yeah, you should have had enough. Yep. Just one of those, those crappy things. Uh, my crew are not doing what they're supposed to do, so i got to fix them. Unfortunately, sometimes you have to do this. So Captain 2 and Captain 1 need to be re-added. Captain 1... Captain 2. The XO's guys are acting strangely. Let's make sure they're good. XO1... Uh... XO... Nope, that's the wrong thing. XO2... Okay, are my engine specialists doing their jobs? Let's take Mr. Dalhouse off the engines really quick and see if uh, the other two show up. Doing 10 knots. Start to slow down eventually. Unless we've already got people on the engines. Do we have anyone working the engines? Hello, gentlemen. Engines 2 is on the engine, but not engine 1. Okay, gotta fix them. Gotta fix them. Fortunately, they decouple. It's really irritating, but it happens. Uh, engines one. Engine. Damn it. Engines two. Got it. Okay, good. Alright, um, let's keep speed three, I think. And let's have a little looky look. I doubt we'll catch sight of anything, but why not? A rebellious crew. Am I feeling better? Nah. Uh, no, honestly, I'm not. <laughs> I still have a headache. Had a headache for days now. But it is what it is. Nothing to be done about it. Okay, let's cut this way a little. By all reports, we should still be okay. Skipper, what are you doing? Are you supposed to be online right now? No, you're not. Why? Okay, why aren't they taking their personnel? I just reset them. They should be reset to go automatically. Oh, game, don't start. Don't start upsetting me, please. Please don't do this. All right. Wow. Oh, okay. Keep putting in for a transfer. They're putting in for something. Putting in for a boot in the ass. Uh, V, thanks for them biddies, my guy. I appreciate it. What is the Hellman Station? It's the place where they steer the boat from. It's the steer station. It's the station of steers. All right, let's keep moving forward for now. How are we doing? Wrap my 320. Okay, I'm going to increase speed to max for a minute. Slow to 1. Still at 320, but we made up a lot of room. And I think we're going to go ahead and dive down to 30 meters. Let's get the big ears up and running. There we go. Ah, really, really big, tasty prey. I mean, it's not bad. 29 to 65 is pretty good. Holy convoy, Batman. Well, I hope they're not that holy. I'd like to uh, punch holes in them. I'll make them holy. How about that? Alarm, says Samurai. I'm not super concerned about it. So the Arborath is the one we're after. Um, with any luck, we'll get, you know, some dumb luck and just be able to get it to work. Okay. I'm tempted to stop, but I don't want to. 
Really? This is when you want to talk to me right now? Why is there a second uh, periscope? For spotting aircraft and navigation. Thank you. Now, please don't ask any more silly-ass questions while we're heading into battle. Appreciate it. Oof. Man, oh, man. What was the ship's name? Arboroth. Well, that's what it's called, my guy. That's all I can tell you. The Arboroth. Alarm! Apparently we're at alarm now. Now is the time of our discontent. All right, let's increase the speed three while I'm feeling squirrely. And start zipping in towards the buys. Let's actually increase the speed five for a short time. Just a little while. Torpedoes running at full tilt. Take a deep breath. <laughs> now, let's achieve our objectives. We should try to achieve our objectives. I think that's a great idea. Okay. Six kilometers and counting. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to get somebody on depth keeping. And we're going to come up to periscope depth. I would like to see what we're dealing with, please, gentlemen. All right. We got some sight now. Good. Uh... That's... Nope. There it is. I was going to say, we need the periscope to be out of the water. Out of the water. I know this is weird. Destroyer. Uh, I'm getting Empire vibes off that guy. I'm getting a red flag, too. What did they say this was? Did it say what kind of ship it was? Where's my log? Um... Arboroth heading to Liverpool. Arboroth. Doesn't say what nationality it's meant to be. Which is unfortunate for me. It looks like everything here is UK based. That's an American back there though. Just about everything else is UK. Alright. Well, where was that destroyer again? Pretty much right out front. Come on boys, what are you doing? I've got a guy, yeah okay. Pretty much right out front of me, um, but far enough away that I can't pick him up. Speed am I doing? Four? Let's keep doing four for a minute. Alright, let's drop down to two. Extend that range a little. Okay, any more intel I could get please, gentlemen? Don't know. Don't know. Liberty Empire. Liberty... Uh, Liberty, I think. No, Empire back there. NA-1. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. That's a C-3. That's probably the American I saw. Another Empire. Ooh, is that a cruiser? I think that's a cruiser. Another Liberty. Another C-3. Uh, Empire, probably Empire. Empire. C-3. Liberty. Man, it's a large convoy right here. Large. Ugh. Um. We should just put him. Oh, 100%, my guy. 100%. Alright, we're skimming forward at speed two. Maybe let's kick it up to three. I'd like to try to get a little closer. So I need a little more intel on what we're shooting at here because it's. The Arboroth is in here somewhere. Where is anybody's guess? All right, slow to two here. I'm starting to pick up that destroyer via big ears now. Okay. Uh, is there anything close enough I can read anything on it? I mean, you could always do the thing where you just use the free cam. But uh, I don't really want to. Nowhere near close enough to see uh, lettering yet. Nowhere near close enough for lettering. That's very unfortunate for me. Okay, well, we continue forward then. Hope for the best. I think we'll dive a little deeper though. Down to 3 0. Don't want to be broaching at all. Hmm, more command, good. 
What was the ship carrying? It is carrying some kind of prototype um, radar. Radar. Maybe if it's someone important, then it can be the cruiser. No. No. It's definitely on a freighter of some kind. Slow to one. Whew, man, look at all of this. And I have to find the needle in the haystack. Sheesh. Okay. On up. Periscope depth, please, gentlemen. Uh, skipper, get on that. I just need a little bit of intel. That's all I need. Just a little. Uh, no idea. <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm not close enough for the game to render it. Nothing marked on that guy. Should have been close enough to see letters for him, anyway. Okay. Well, this is irritating. Let's get real low, 50 meters, increase speed. I'm going to try to pick out this target somewhere, somehow. Okay. Oh, oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Jeez, okay. Slow to one. Periscope depth. Actually, I'll stop. Periscope, please, gentlemen. Did I not give the order? I did. Let's move. Kind of in the middle of some nastiness. Come on, Skipper, move your ass. Okay. The Mars Lou is directly in front of me. <clears throat> Mars Lou. The A something. Come on. Should be an empire right here, shouldn't there? The nothing, apparently. Uh, escort. <sighs> Don't know. The K something. The unknown ship. Another unknown ship. That's a tanker over there. Can't make out anything. Can't make out anything. Too far, too far. The... Uh, Akron, maybe? I don't know. A... Could be anything. It could be literally any word in the world that starts with A. That's definitely not going to be my Huckleberry. The Benoit or something? <sighs> okay. Move forward, speed one, dive deep, 60 meters. Let me get deeper into the convoy. Let them roll overhead. With any luck, they won't be able to pick up any trace of us, given how much noise there's going to be in the water. Let's keep on moving. Whew. A drone would be nice. You think the dot shows the exact point of the ship? I don't believe so. You may be correct, but I don't feel like that is correct. Because the dot just popped over here and then popped over here, so... Alright, keep on rolling. Another destroyer to the rear of the convoy. Oof. Easy does it there, gentlemen. Easy does it. Okay, we've got a risk taking a little peek. Oh, man. Ahoy, indeed. Got a risk taking a little peeky peek here. Alright, 
where are we at? Eyes front, please. That's the B something, apparently. Ben Lamond. Tanker, very unlikely to have radar aboard a tanker. Come on, baby. Can't read. Too far. Too far. The Martelian. The two names, so it's definitely not it. Something alight, maybe? Unknown. Too far. The Naravino or Navarone or something? Gale. Gale. I don't know. Starts with a G. The Malaya. I can't read it. Buh something. T. Alright, still haven't found it. Still haven't found it. Dive to 50. Increased speed 2. Stop. Periscope depth. Oof. Normally I'd be so excited at a uh, convoy this size, but having to pick out the needle in the proverbial haystack is killing me here. Alright, this is the city of something. Up. The Navarino again. Tanker. Martaban. Come on. Where are you at? Two names. Man, I need binoculars to play this right now, like in my chair. Reginolite. Jim. That that boat's name is Jim. That's a boat named Jim. Tribesman. Gaelic Star. Must be out in front of the convoy somewhere. <clears throat> Pardon me. Sink them all? Can't do it, my guy. Sorry. Don't have nearly enough torpedoes. Okay. Plan is simple. We're going to dive to 50, get to the other side of the convoy. Sneak out and around them. Try this uh, story all over again. See if we can find this damn boat. I have to slow to one here. I got a destroyer on my tail. Easy does it. Jim is now my favorite boat. It's a wonderful little boat. Is our Jim? Fantastic fella. Man, my FPS goes to absolute garbage on the map screen. To garbage. Garbage. Garbaggio. I think we can get away with speed three here. And speed four. Speed five. Keeping an eye on our air at this point. Okay, I think we're far enough away to go to periscope depth. What time of day is it? It's only 4.30 in the afternoon. That kind of sucks. Alright, slow to three, bring us to the surface. Alright, let's recharge everything, shall we? We're gonna have to redo torpedoes, do all kinds of good stuff, actually. Alright, maximum go-go, please. Okay, looks like they just changed course on me as well. Alright, I need torpedoes. Let's concentrate on that for a moment. 
Come on now. I... <laughs> Uh, I've got these little micro stutters like I'm used to clicking at certain intervals like I do this and then click and do this and then click and I can't because there's a stutter that happens so when I click is not when I'm supposed to be clicking it's frustrating it is frustrating might as well warm up number five while we're at it one again two again okay so we're definitely beating them by a mile Radio, important message. I don't have time for your important message right now. <sighs> oh, small group of merchants. BDU, I am so busy. Like, you have no idea how busy I am. I am so busy. So incredibly busy. Okay. Let's slow to one here. I'm going to go to blue lighting. Ugh. Rest him. Easy does it. Easy does it. Alright. Let's dive to periscope depth. Big ears on. Okay. Let's go, gentlemen. Dive the boat. There we go. Alarm. Alright. So he's there. Let's go D. Br br br. Let's go down to 30. Keep moving for a minute. Yep, they did change course on me a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This game takes entirely more uh, more patience than I have in my body. Like it was, I almost wish there was one of those functions where you could be like, take me to the next point in action. Do you know what I mean? Like the next thing that actually happens, bring me there. I want to get past this destroyer, but I don't think I can. All right, bring us down to 40. Kill the motors. Shh, everything is shut down. Make everybody quieter, please. Okay, let's hope this destroyer rolls overhead. So if not, we're going to be in some trouble. It's dark out now, so that's a bonus. Have I played Wolfpack? I have. <clears throat> I have indeed. Okay, <clears throat> pardon me, sorry. Periscope depth. Somebody on depth keeping, please. Thank you. Skipper's on the periscope, good. Up out of the water, gentlemen. Not staring at the sky would be helpful, too. I need red lighting so I can see. Forward, come on, come on, bring it out of the water. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. I can't see. I can't see. Come on. Stabilize. Stabilize. Here we go. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. I can't get close enough to see anything. <laughs> oh, wow. Talk about frustrating, right? Like, even the large ships that have, like, like words the size of a building. The Thelma, maybe? <sighs> I gotta keep moving forward. I hate this so much. Moving right behind a destroyer, pretty much right next to a cruiser. Not a big fan, overall. Not a big fan. But I need to get close enough to see the names on the ships. That's the Thelma. Can't see that one's name because it's behind Miss Thelma. Yeah, nothing. Cruiser. Oh, buddy. Buddy old pal. Let me tell you. Don't know. I know it's British, I can tell you that. I know that's British. And there's that cruiser. <clears throat> yeah, they got hydrophones, I'm aware. Keep moving. Alright, 
stop here. Well, not stop, but you know what I mean. If only I could see the damn names. You know, like, just... <laughs> uh, sometimes, just sometimes, I don't need this much realism. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't need it. Oh, God. Rucknage. The... Something. It's a tanker. North Devon. Uh, what's that guy doing? Yeah. <sighs> okay. What do we do? What do we do here? What do I do here? I gotta shake up this convoy. That's what I gotta do. I gotta shake up this convoy a little. That's gotta happen. Okay. So... Ah, this sucks. This sucks. I'm gonna sink this Rucknage. I'm gonna sink it. Is the one from yesterday? No, 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 no. This is a tower. Scroll all the way back to the UK. It's too bad this uh, mod isn't uh, working with the remember where you were in the book mod. That would have been helpful. Okay, right, right. Civilian for sure. Uh, a freighter merchant right here. That's my buddy. Hey, buddy. Let's get a speed from the whatever. <clears throat> um, looks like you've seen it at some point. I haven't seen it personally. Sink some ships, make destroyers break their formation. Pretty much. Hey there, Black Fox. <clears throat> this is a rough go. How many escorts? Two destroyers, one cruiser. Two destroyers, one cruiser. We are not getting in a fight with a cruiser with a boat that has almost zero upgrades. Six knots, apparently. Now, there's a ship coming up to the rear. Is it him? It is him. North Devon. Another merchant type, same class. Good. The velocity for Mr. Devon. <clears throat> don't have depth charges to your knowledge. I really don't know. Of all the times that they've asked me to do a uh, find this ship one, eh? Had to be in one of the biggest convoys available. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but oof, man, oh man. Not ideal. Not ideal. Okay, how about you, Mr. Devon? Seven for Mr. Devon. Well, that gives me pause, you see, Mr. Devon, because if I get seven for you and I got six for the guy in front of me, it makes me very we leery. Please click. I am begging you to click on this ship. There it is. Ho oh, ho, wow, okay. Just had to beg a little harder, I suppose. <sighs> Sorry if I missed anything you might have said there, Chad. I was uh, looking for a needle in a haystack there, so... Got a little rough. Things got a little rough for me back there. BDU message to seven knots for the convoy. That doesn't mean anything. That means an estimation of what they were doing. So, Yeah, big old frustration clicks there. I was like, nope, you have to lock on. That's your job, Mr. Mouse. Still going six. Well, I mean, who am I? Who am I? It says it's six, so I guess it's damn well six, even though that one's going seven, right? Eleven hundred, six hundred. Okay. Eleven hundred, six hundred. So, 
shoot at that guy there-ish. Right? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, angles of bow would be helpful now, I think. So angle of bow for this little fella back here. Like that, and like that, is 57 degrees. Do, 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 Click 57, bow right. Set that one. Spin this thing all the way back around to the rickinge or whatever it is. I'm refusing to say it right because I'm upset with it now. <laughs> None of you are the ship I want you to be and it makes me unhappy. It makes me a cranky man. M cranky, 55 degrees, my guy. 55. Now left. 55. Close enough for government work right there. All right, target to the rear, locked. Distance to target is right there, set. Everything's gone cold. Everything's gone cold. Mm-hmm. Okay. Drop to 50 meters. Begin warming all the goddamn torpedoes again. Way to ruin my fun, people. Way to ruin my fun. Speed one to the forward. Curses and be damned. Let me tell you. Curses and be damned. Long time watcher, first time talker. Keep up the streams. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you very kindly. All right. More, more, more and more, gentlemen. It's really unfortunate um, if you decide to set them to do it as a task. They'll do it whether you're quiet or not, which is bad, obviously. Um, but if you don't set them as a task, you have to do it manually, and they'll go cold on you without you even noticing. So, it's frustrating. Yeah, it's a dilemma. And not only is it, a, is it a dilemma in the size of the convoy, I need to find one particular ship in this convoy. And I gotta tell you, that is easier than it sounds. Or, sorry, not as easy as it sounds, rather. Because I'm having a hard time of it. Come on, skip. Hold her steady, gentlemen. Hold her steady. Hold her steady. Oh, come on. I need the periscope to be above the water. Very important. Hugely important when it comes to naval battles. That the periscope be out of the water. Cool. Thank you. All right. John something. There's the cruiser. Hello, cruiser. Don't know. Don't know. Can't get close enough to read anything to save my life. The Bajurka. Okay. The starts with a Y, I think. Too short of a name, plus it's a tanker. That's another tanker. Come on, I know there's more boats out here. That's another tanker. The Bullisees, or Bullisees, possibly. That's the north whatever I was just looking at. That's the Ruckinja that I was looking at. That'll be the Thera or whatever it was, right? Thelma. Can't find this boat to save my life. The Fax Fleet. The Unknown. More Unknown. I can't read this, but it looks like two different names. Can't see it. Can't see it. Cruiser. John Charrington. Uh, somebody would like a salty fact. Tomorrow, I'm going to be hitting the road to go visit my folks. We're going to go have a little visit with uh, 
with the uh, life givers, and uh, it's going to be a 500-ish kilometer trip. I'm going to I'm going to put a twerp into that and this, that thing and that thing. This one's coming up from behind. <sighs> All right, straight guesses on everything. I don't have time to take uh, all these measurements and stuff again. So, is this the ship? No, this is the ship to the forward. Velocity, seven. Course, what do you think? Uh, 80? I'm going to say 80. Eight zero. Okay, distance to target. Come on, up, up faster, faster. There we go. Oh, no, you're not allowed because you didn't identify the ship. Didn't identify it. Nope, 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 nope. I know what it is. <laughs> I know what it is. Uh, it's Norwegian. Wish you could type this in too. That'd be great. It's not a fishing vessel. Come on, what are you doing? Wake up. I need to breathe. I'm getting frustrated. You gotta breathe. You know? Uh, wait, is that the ship I want? Yes, it's gotta be the ship I want. Has to be. Has to be. Has to be. Has to be the ship. Do you guys ever get this where the statimeter goes like incredibly slowly for no reason? You know what I mean? You ever get that? Happens to me a bit. All right, two times torpedoes, bring dispersion down to 28 meters, ready to rock and roll. Come on, come on, come on. Flood faster, please. Whoosh. Whoosh, okay. Dum, 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 spin, spin, spin. All right, this dude is an OL-class tanker. She's Ukrainian. Get it? UK. Get it? See that? I did a thing. Uh, okay. She's a tanker. She is an OL class, right? Yep. OL class. Velocity 7. Course of 80 seems fine. 8 0. Distance to target. Ugh. Yeah, go faster. Uh, 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 there we go. And this tube getting ready to fire. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Fire. Alright, dive the boat. Take me down to five zero. Move forward, speed one. Keep on trucking. The what meter? Did I say it wrong, or did you just not catch it? Like, what's what's happening here? What happened? Is everything okay? Am I uh, am I okay? Are you okay? Are we okay? Okay, tanker is forward. Probably hit it first. Then again, I guess that all the values we might miss everything, right? Incoming. Good hit on the tanker. There's fire aboard. Boom! Explosions. Boom! Explosions everywhere. I feel like we should have hit the ship by now. Two duds. Two duds. Two duds. Two duds forward. That's great. That's so good. God, I'm glad they both dudded. That would have... I would have been sad, really, if they didn't dud. Wouldn't that have been just terrible? Huh? If they didn't dud out on me? Wouldn't that have been horrible? Both four torpedoes being duds? Isn't that terrible? That's terrible, let me tell you. Whew. Rough. Rough go. Rough go. Okay. So the one that I fired two torpedoes at has zero damage because, um, you know, duds and such, so... True, sinking tanker is something. Yes, Samurai, I could have done that at any time. I could have done that at any time. I chose to not. I chose to not do it. Loading up the rear tube again. Getting ready to fire out this 
thing, you park, apparently. Apparently, I've already uh, designated it. Decided to suffer. Respect. I mean, again, once you put in enough hours, it's like, it's almost like there's no purpose to doing anything unless you try to make it a little bit difficult, right? All right, we're cruising forward at two. The cruiser is over here, but the des destroyer back here somewhere. All right, we are going to come up to two zero meters, maximum torpedo depth. And get ready to fire into this thing that's in front of me. Slow to one. Prepare to fire. I need this target. I need a speed of 6.2. We're, we're guesstimating, obviously. Skipper, go do anything else that isn't that, please. Um, distance, distance, 570 is what I'm going to go with. Current course is approximately 70. Ready to fire. Two times tubes. Impact triggers are fine. Depth 1.5, dispersion 28. No, Jonathan, I will never ever do a first person playthrough because you get stuck on the other sprites. And I cannot abide that. That will make me very, very cranky. I would be a cranky boy. A cranky boy, if I have to deal with that nonsense when you're just stuck in the boat. <laughs> or just going to try to use only torpedoes? Absolutely, my guy. It's a fun way to do it. You can actually have uh, take the gun off, right? Yeah, remove the deck gun, 100%. Everyone's had big problems with these torpedoes in the beginning. Yes, they did. They most assuredly did. Incoming. One, delicious hit. Two, delicious hits. Took... The nose off? No, didn't take the nose off. That's okay, though. All right, target to the rear. We're warming that torpedo. Let's start plugging in some values. 6.2. This is the Gull Foil. She is a, a tanker of the American Persuasion. Uh, distance will be approximately 400 meters. Angle. That's going to change a little bit by the time I get this thing warmed up. Come on, baby. Warm, warm, warm. Mr. Jansen, I'm going to need torpedoes forward. How about you on water? Getting a little damp in here. Getting a little damp in here, not going to lie. That's going to become a problem. Sooner rather than later. Come on, buddy. I need this torpedo warmed up. I really do. There it is. Good. So, more like 385 meters. 385. Uh. Approximate course, let's call it 70. Good. Same idea with this guy. Fire, fire, fire. How does one remove the deck gun? You gotta do it at the warehouse where you buy stuff. Firing. Moving speed to dive deep. Alright, need more torpedoes, Mr. Dollhouse. I need you to help over here. Hopefully the two of you can work side by side. Sometimes they get stuck when you do this, so be careful. All right, we're moving forward. Oh, I didn't even... All right, struck him a mighty blow. Boom! Lots of fireworks there. Totally forgot to fire a torpedo. <laughs> uh, isn't that silly? Well, she'll go under. Not a problem. Pod to problem. <laughs> this is the German Coast Guard. We are sinking. We are sinking. What are you thinking about? What do you guys think they're sinking about? Huh? What do you suppose they're sinking about, guys? <laughs> that guy doesn't care. Look at this guy. He's fine. You're fine. It's a little warm. It's a little warm up here. I'm not gonna lie. A little warm, but uh, he'll be okay. I think he'll be fine, right? Hello. <laughs> it's like the this is fine meme. Oh dear. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oof. Sucks to be that guy. Cooking a little bit. Okay. Um, I don't know what that is or that. I haven't uh, designated those ones yet. I may never. Unknown if I'm going to be able to do that or not. The destroyer is beginning to move in on us. 
Destroyer is moving in towards us, gentlemen. Warming two forward tubes. Coming up to two zero meters. Nope, that's two one. I need two zero on the nose. Fire in a boat. Sounds fun, right? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Target to front. 700 and... You want to call it 7... No, 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 no. 700 meters. Uh, speed. 6.2 seems to be working nicely for me. Current course. I'm going to say something to the tune of 5-0. Two tubes. I don't know what I'm shooting at. So we're going to make sure it sinks. How about that? Let's change this to 670. Right? Yeah, that'll be fine. Firing. One away. Two away. Get deep. Keep moving forward. Don't look back. Look into the future at all times. At all times, pay attention to your future. Don't look back. This is the built-in. The built-in. The built-in. Come on, built-in. Don't let me down, my guy. Need you to sinkify. Need you sunk. Boom! Good hit there. Must have been a dud. Yep, another dud. She's getting really good at getting these duds. I don't know if you guys noticed. Like, I'm really good at it. Um, do I have a torpedo to the rear right now? Can't remember. Uh, I think I fired it, right? I fired it, right? I did. That's fine. Alright, let's slow to one. Turn this way. Don't lock up on me on this screen. Don't do it. Come on. All right, how good is your sonar, my guy? Not that good. Not that good, okay. Now, let's warm that one of the forward. If I get it warmed, I'm going to shoot this thing, whatever it is. Whatever this thing is, I'm going to shoot at it. A little bit of a long-distance shot for some, for some cowboy nonsense, but it'll be fine. Any last words, Bilton? <laughs> I like that. All right, she's warmed. Speed, 6.2. Course, 95. Uh, distance, 9 hundo. <sighs> Firing. Fast and low. Fast and low. Well, maybe not too fast. You got this dude here. Let's go at one. Oh, we've got a buddy. Now this, uh, this is useful. This is actually useful for a change. Go attack whatever that is. It's actually useful for a change. Okay. Normally, they're just a pain in my buttocks. A pain in my buttocks. Ugh. Come on. Let's have no more duds, please. I would appreciate no more duds. 20 seconds. Incoming. Alright. The Arbo Arboroth is still around here somewhere. Boom. Good amount of damage, lots of fire. Good amount of damage, lots of fire. Could be dead. Time will tell. Time will tell. Okay. Let's get ourselves out of here, shall we? Yep, he went down. Yeah, got a little buddy over here. Go attack that guy. No, no. Go, 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 go do something. Do something 
useful for a change. Stupid NPCs, I hate them. Don't like them. Now, I've got a lot of housekeeping to do. I gotta get a bunch of water out of my boat, etc. And then we've gotta go back to the convoy because we haven't found our quarry yet. To the surface. Rock and roll. Alright. Let's kill the alarms, please, gentlemen, so I can send some people to bed. Everybody's very tired. Sorry about this, but uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, now, I need water pumped out of my boat. Turn the pump on. 4.5 meters of water. Let's go to red lighting, please, gentlemen. Unfortunately, you engineers will not be sleeping yet. You have so much work to do. So many works. Come on, Mr. Dollhouse, get to that pump. All right, if I load the opposite tube, they seem to be able to do it without getting stuck. All right. Come on, gents, move your butts. That one. So, we've got what? Six more kicks at the can? Six kicks total. I need him to go to sleep. Mr. Kinzel, I need you to get up so I can send this guy to bed. Sorry. I hate juggling this many officers. It drives me crazy. Right? No water in your jacuzzi now, my guy. None for you. Yes, everybody, we're going to take a little break now. A little breaky-poo, I think, is uh, well-deserved. We still have not found the Arboroth. She is uh, evading capture currently. Not very pleased with her, I must say. Not very pleased at all. But we're going to do our best to find her, and uh, we're going to be doing that when we come back. Something to tune to 10, 15 minutes, everybody. If you choose to leave the stream now, thanks so very kindly for coming by in the first place. For those of you who are going to stick around for just a little bit, I'll see you soon. Thank you.
Alright folks, let's say we try to get back at it, kind of a, sort of a thing. Just wait for the game to catch up with the streaming software as usual. And here we are, once more onto the breach, etc. Hokey dokey. One more torpedo to load up. We have five, five torpedoes that we can use. Five torpedoes. Well, thank you. Mr. Kinzel, let's check on the galley, please. Getting low on food stuff, so it would appear. Let's jam all these potatoes in there, too, for the boys. For the boys. For the... All right, we are recharging everything. We are doing stuff. We are making everyone quite pleased. Skipper, I don't know if I ordered you to do something or not. Okay. Five torps or one ship, you're not wrong. 
So, given that we know there is a NPC U-boat in the mix, we probably won't be able to set up for perfect shots at all. Which is sad. But practical, I think. Because really, we're just trying to find this damn Arborath or whatever it is. This accursed ghost ship that I'm not positive even exists. I've been through the convoy twice and I still can't find this damn thing. Still can't find it. Alright, let's cut in hard. Cut in hard. Game, I really need you to stop stuttering on the map screen. It's so important. So important that we don't stutter right now. Because that little bit of stutter, that can be life and death, I've learned. Life and death. Alright, we're going to plant ourselves right in front of it. And hope like hell we can find this boat. Really want to find this boat. Yeah, I saw something with an A, but it it could have been literally anything. Could have been any name that starts with A, and that wasn't good enough, in my, uh, my opinion. It wasn't good enough. Alright. So, we may have gotten lucky, because it doesn't look like I've got a destroyer up front anymore. Doesn't seem like it, anyway. No. So, the destroyer that was at the front is now probably heading up the rear. So that's good. That is very good. We're going to use that to the best of our abilities. Do you need an alarm sound effect from SH3? How come? Uh, Tricone, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. Alright, we're at blue lighting now. Let's go to periscope depth. Speed one. Let's get on the big ears, gentlemen. Figure out what's the what. Stop here, I think. Alright, so we're lo looking at only about a kilometer to the first ship. A little less, actually. I'm going to roll forward a bit more. Let's try to get between this ship and this ship. Speed 2. <clears throat> Alright. We got to get this done. They're counting on us, boys. They're counting on us. They's counting on us back at home and whatnot. Okay. I'm going to turn this way. Alright. Slow me to speed one. Give me red lighting so I can see. Okay. Ship dead ahead is a C3. Got another C3 there. Liberty. Liberty. Sorry, not Liberty. Empire. C3. That, I believe, is my, um, my friend the cruiser. C3 Empire. Uh, that one's got a list to her. I think we've shot this ship. That one's got a bit of a list. Another Empire type. It's a Liberty. Another Liberty. Sorry, I keep saying Liberty, I mean Empire. Because that's actually a Liberty. Um... Okay, I'm going to stop. Let them come to me. I want to be able to see. Yeah, we'll turn dive planes in a second. Alright, begin torpedoes, gentlemen. Dive planes to manual. Two K and counting for this side of the convoy. Now they're within my ugh, they're within my actual sight bubble at this point, so that's a good thing. More torpedoes, gentlemen. More torpedoes. All right, what's out front? Can we get any intel whatsoever on anything that's out front? I know it's got a name, I can see the lettering, like I can see letters, but I can't see the name. I can't read anything about it. Nothing. <sighs> Let him 
come in closer, I guess. Go this way, speed one. You finish the last torpedo, you get on depth keeping. Oh man, needle in a haystack. Needle in a haystack. <clears throat> Okay. Why can't I go to command positions? Why are we not at alarm when there's an enemy ship right there? That's weird. Command positions, please. Command positions, yes. All right, that's the Thelma, we shot her. That's the Thelma, we shot her. All right, is there anything around me that I've already identified? Unknown, 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 unknown. Brilliant. Move at speed two. Okay. That's the Thelma, we know that. Name looks too long. Can't see it. Can't see it. No lettering. Can't see it. The Ben something. Cruiser. That's not terrifying at all. The... That might start with an A. Can't see, man. John Carrington Chile. Bonomon, Thelma. Right, that one back there is unknown, so is that one. <sighs> this is frustrating, man. Very frustrating. That cruiser's getting closer. You, attack the cruiser. Do something. Please. So the ones that I've already picked up, Chile, so this one and this one, I have no idea what they are, neither do I know what that one is. Okay. Let's dive a little deeper, keep moving. This is tough, this is tough. Oh, you watch, it's an NA-1. You watch, all of this has been about an NA-1. You know? Watch, that'll just be my luck. Alright, stop the boat, periscope. Give me this. Looking at the sky is super unhelpful. Cruiser. Can't read it. I gotta tell you, I've never, ever, ever, ever been so tempted to use the free cam at this point. I'm so frustrated. It's just such a huge convoy. You know what I mean? Like, it's so large. There's no way. Wait. Could be the ship. I th I'm almost positive I see an A. That could be the ship right there. <sighs> Speed two, right in front of a cruiser. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, this guy's shooting torpedoes. You gonna get him? Did you get him? Oh, he got him. Hey, good job, little buddy. Ooh, well, that'll be uh, irritating to them. The Andoni. God damn it. <sighs> Slow to one, dive deep. 
Oh, I figured I had it. I figured I had it. But it's called the Andoni. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Ugh. The Andoni. I was like, there it is. That's that's the ship with an A. That's the one. That's the one. Nope. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. It's not the one. Alright, this one's unknown. That's the daisy that I saw earlier. Okay, come on, baby. Let me find you. Let me find you. Come on, come on. Let me find... Oh, come on. I can't see. Bring the tor... Oh, bring the periscope out of the water, please. I'm begging you. Oh, my God. Bennell something. Christ and be damned. And be damned. Melora, the something, the unknown, the bend blur blur blur. Can't find this ship to save my life, people. Can't find this ship to save my life. Come on, boat. Up. Go up. Malaya, whatever that is, is unknown. Bring the periscope out of the water. Come on, bring the periscope out of the water. Anytime now. Anytime now. Come on, boys. Come on, come on. Come on. You're within my sight range. Why can't I read the name? Why can't I read the name when it's within sight range? You know? Like, why? The Anglo-Peruvian. City of Oxford. Navarino. There's Jim again. Good old Jim. You'd figure this important ship would be real close to the uh, cruiser, right? But no. No, it is not. Okay. Try this again. Don't play realistic, everybody. Don't, don't do it. It's not worth your time, I promise. It's just not. It certainly doesn't feel like it's worth your time. I don't understand. Like, where... What ship could it be? You know? John, Chile, unknown. Could be that one, I guess. Adrarstis, the Andonia. Every A name except the one I need. Okay. So there's these outliers here, there's that guy there, there's these guys over here. Okay, well we're gonna head for these outliers I suppose. Hopefully that NPC will keep them busy. Looks like they are, that's good. Speed 3. All right, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't I wish I I could increase the draw distance? My God, don't I wish at this point? I'm tormenting myself. The only reason that I haven't found this ship is because I haven't gone to free cam mode. That's the only reason whatsoever. I could have ended this farce already, but I'm forcing myself 
to play it at least semi-realistically. Sylvia something. God damn it. I, I can't I I can't find it. I can't find the ship. <sighs> can't find it. It's either these two or this guy here. That's that's all there is. That's all that's left. <sighs> I gotta tell you, I'm uh, not real big on, I'm not feeling the realism at the moment. <laughs> In all honesty, this is so frustrating. So frustrating. Like, wouldn't they, wouldn't they have like a ship type at the very least, you know? Like, I don't know. Uh, it's just me being butthurt, in all honesty. It's just me being butthurt. Alright, charge everything up. <clears throat> didn't even want to take the chance of taking a shot until I made it to the rear of the convoy because, well, I didn't want to lose my chance. Didn't want to lose my chance. No doubt, my guy. No doubt. Oh, do I ever want to cheat? You have no idea. Knowing that all I have to do, all I have to do, is click the ship. That's all I have to do. What is this, by the way? Something called the Bajerk. But according to the game, the ship is... I swear to God, if that ship somehow broke off and went over here, I'm going to be so mad. So angry. Like, you have no idea. So angered. All right, torpedoes. Torpedoes. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. You're faster than this. I know you are. Torpedoes. <sighs> Come on, game. This is me holding the tab key. There we go. Good game. Good game. Good little fella. Screw with me right now. <laughs> I am irate. Irritated to no end. Okay. Where are these little idiots at now? Yeah, it's looking about right. So, if it's not one of the first two ships on the outside here, it's the ones on the outside here. It has to be. It has to be. Specifically has to be. Because it's not possible that none of the ships are the ships. Unless that ship is down here somehow. And I'm telling you right now, if that is the case... Oh, I might have to flip this desk. I don't even know. Might have to flip this desk. I don't know. Because I am going to snap. I'm going to snap. Gonna lose my mind, everybody. I'm gonna lose it. <sighs> Here we go. That's the Chile. That's the Chile. Playing it a little loose and dangerous at this point. Sorry if my commentary is dropping off a bit. I'm very busy. <laughs> you might say I've got some things on my mind. Okay, slow to one. Red lighting. Come on. What do we got? Ben Eklitsch, Daisy. Got to be one of the ones to this side. Got to be. Right? Because we've checked everything on this side, right? You guys would tell me if I screwed this up, right? You wouldn't leave me to suffer. You wouldn't just have me suffer, would you? Sylvia something. Okay, it's got to be on the other side of the convoy. Has to be. Has to be on the other side of the convoy. It has to be. 
Maximum. Maximum. Okay. Let's charge everything up real quick, even though we're pretty close to that convoy. But uh, we need things and stuff. Octung to off, please. Go to sleep, Mr. Radio Guy. I'm going to need you. I'm sorry about all the stutters, by the way. It's a little tough running all these mods on my poor old 1080. Especially on the map screen. I think the computer tries to load entirely too much... Uh, sorry, the game tries to load entirely too much information on the map screen. I don't think it's necessary. I really don't. But it is what it is. Alright, has to be one of the outliers on this end. Has to be. No if ands, or buts. It must be. It must be one of the outliers on this end. Right? We're all in agreement, right? Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. Alright, make sure we've got a couple of torpedoes. Gents, any luck, we might not know. I agree, it's a CPU issue. The unfortunate side of the house is I'm also using my CPU to record locally. So I'm asking quite a bit of it. Asking quite a bit out of this uh, poor old CPU. All right, game. It's daylight now. Now we're in trouble. That's the Thelma. We we shot her. So it has to be one of the ships to this side. Has to be. Right, Thelma. Flirk Nidge or whatever it is. I remember that one. Come on, baby blue. Where are you? Ruckinage. Come on, you're here somewhere. You have to be. Where is it? Tribesman? Baltazar or something? Come on, identify it. Gaelic. The Arborath. There she is. There she is. That's her. We found her. We found her. She's right there. She's right there. Oh. Brutal. What are you repairing? Why are you at damage control? Go back to the listening room. Uh, how many haven't I named? Uh, all but that one, apparently. I'll bite your legs off! We should bite their legs off. I think that's a grand idea, and I can't wait. Stop here. That ship is going to be right out in front of us. Uh, hello? Why can't I... What's going on? Oh, time compression controls disappeared for a second. That was interesting. Come on, move! Alright, stop the boat. <sighs> I can't believe how hard it was to find this ship. I can't believe how hard it was to find this ship. I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever, ever ever managed to have it be this hard. You know? There you are. I'm putting three rounds into it. I swear to God, if I can, I'm putting three rounds into it because there's no way that this ship is getting away now. None. Zero. 6.2. 627 meters. Approximate course. 100 degrees. One, two, three. <sighs> Here we go. Three duds. Come on, baby. Let's see it. Oh, 
You watch the angle's gonna screw it up. The Arborath. I swear to God, if I ever see that name in this game again. <coughs> Hit her way to the rear, wow. Two hits. No, one hit, two duds. All right, it's burning and abandoned. Oh, wow, what a tough, uh, what a tough mission this was. What a tough mission this was, man. I, I honestly, like, I've never, never had a mission this hard, ever, I don't think. <clears throat> wow. All right, by my count, we have two torpedoes left. Let's go use them. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. <clears throat> Let's go use these torpedoes. And my little buddy is just blowing stuff off left and right. Thanks, little buddy. Thanks, little pal. You right there, my last Huckleberry. Come here for a second. I want to say hello. I would like to say hi to you. You've been quite a quarry. Quite a quarry indeed. 6.3, let's say, for fun. Distance, 700 zero, zero meters. Um, doing approximately 45 degrees. We're going to have to use at least one magnetic. And I'm going to use one non-magnetic because I want to try to hit it. Nope. We're going to go with uh, both impact triggers, I think. Because she's turning back towards us. Let's change this to 80 degrees. Fire it. One away. Two away. Okay, spin us about. Get us out of here. The Fax Fleets. How many times did I look at you through the periscope? Cursing your very name, I wonder. How many times did I curse this name? Tele marketing business. <laughs> All right, one of them is a T1. No explosions on the water, so the other one hasn't turned into a explosion yet. Sending a fax to Davy Jones, baby. I love it. One good hit. And I'd guess one dud. Yep. I'll take it. All right, let's get out of dodge. Wow, didn't that take some doing? Go get them, boys. Go get them. Ooh, Stutter City. No, I never missed. You're not wrong. I didn't miss. Still, they didn't make it easy. They did not make this easy. Oh, hello. Little destroyer guy. How you doing? Yeah, you. Kill him. Kill him! Destroy my enemies! You're doing a terrible job. You didn't fire a single shot. Okay. That's fine. Right? That's fine, right? Whew. Drake! We are leaving! 100% my guy. Hondo P. Oh my god, what a patrol that was. What a patrol, what a patrol. What a godforsaken patrol that was, everybody. Man, oh man, wasn't that something? That was unreal. 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 Whew.
radio. Turn off this. Call these in. Turn this on, turn these on. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. Hell of a patrol. Hell of a patrol. Um, uh, messages, apparently. Daily report. <clears throat> British steam merchant Kohener sunk. Nor Norwegian motor tanker sunk. And I keep on trying to scroll down on that page, but it just makes it go away, so that's not, not, not the thing to do. U-74 picked up a small group. Not really my cup of tea at the moment. I've got kilometers to eat up. Oh, come on, game. Stop screwing with me. I need to get these kilometers. I do, I do, I do. Alright, a little bit of stuff to do. Probably got a lot of water in the boat we gotta get rid of. Fair amount. Fair amount. We had 3.4 meters. Hey there, Bubba the Shmoo. What's going on? Sorry for those of you joining late. We, uh, we did a whole lot of killing. Did we ever do a whole lot of killing there? What a monster-sized convoy. Wish I could have done more, but trying to track down that stupid ship and all the duds I get. Whoa! It is absolutely wild how many duds I've been getting. But we should have expected that with realism turned up as high as it is. Oh, the correspondent's probably super happy, yeah. Probably the happiest man on this side of the Atlantic. Showed up to do a dumb little story on, like, where they keep the food. What he ended up with will, uh, will keep him in the history books until the dawn of time, I have no doubt. Till the dawn of time. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. So, uh, I have a question. How many of you out there actually play those missions uh, that way, where you do not allow yourself to check for where, they, where the ship in question is? Any other, um, what's the term, masochists out there just looking to punish themselves? Huh? Anybody? Just me? Is it just me? Am I the one? Am I the only one who's insane enough to, to essentially flay myself with spiky nonsense? Brutal. Brutal. <coughs> Pardon me. Patrol complete, baby. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. Oh, I can't remember the last time I felt not ill in some some way or another. Well, thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. Good night to you yourself, my dude. Appreciate it. Bless me. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. We also accept Gesundheit. Wednesday, 20 November, 1940. 1940. Whew. What a patrol. All right, Mr. Deedle. Dieter? I said Deedle. That doesn't make sense. Dieter picked up the U-Boat War Badge. Good for him. And uh, Skipper picked up the Knight's Cross with the Oak Leaves. Very good, Skipper. All right, campaign objective has progressed to the next phase. So we're on, we just finished phase two of Assault of British Shipping. First one was 45,000. This was 90,000. And, ooh, looks like we did a bit of a stretch there. Not too shabby. We got newspapers coming out our butts. We sank the Arletta. She was taking oil to Liverpool, 5,067 tons. The U Park was taking medical supplies to Liverpool, 5,724 tons. The Gulf Foil, another oiler, had in Liverpool, of course, 5,063. The Bilton... Raw resources, 2,601. The Marlwood, carrying rubber, 6,245 tons. 
the Arborath, my scourge, the scourge of my endeavors today. Uh, raw resources, yeah. According to them, they said this thing had a, a prototype radar on board. This says it was taking raw resources. So... Right? 100% V. 100% my guy. Um, the Fax Fleet was our final victim. 5,916 tons worth of utilities. Lots of newspapers that are too small to read. Report from BDU states that Honduras has joined the Axis. Cool, 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 cool. All right, we picked up an extra radio man, so that's kind of cool. Um, th 33,930 tons in a single uh, non-rearming mission in which we never got to use the deck gun because we were cut down almost immediately. Um, not too bad. Honestly, not too bad at all. Ooh, level up for Mr. Kinzel. Mr. Kinzel, what can I get you, my guy? Some personnel skills would be fantastic for you, I think. I think that'd be a fantastic idea. Personnel skills for Mr. Kinzel. That, everybody, that is going to bring us to the end of tonight's stream, everyone. I am off to Cape Breton in the morning. Good five-hour journey to see the uh, the folks, the, the life bringers, the parental units, one might say. Um, yeah. Copper ingots to be drawn into wire. Sand to be made into glass. There you go. Yeah, 100%. Just in little bits and pieces. 100%. Just in parts. I get it. Uh, thanks there, Bubba. Much obliged, my guy. Appreciate it. Oh, well. That was an interesting little patrol, everybody. Uh, there was a lot more to it than I would have thought. Um, have yourself a fantastic evening there, Samurai. Much obliged. Thank you, kindly retired. Much obliged, my guy. I will do I will do my very best to enjoy my leave. The OG. Well, thanks there, V. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Time goes very, very quickly, folks. Time goes very quickly. Two hours comes by and the snap of a finger. Um, Funky Boy Monkey Boy. I like your handle. Thanks for that follow. Much obliged. Welcome to the channel. Hello, hello. Yeah, definitely a different kind of patrol. Um, I kind of wish I didn't get the... Uh, the mission to sink the Arborath, because I would have just... Oh, I would have had some fun there. That would have been that would have been great. Instead of uh, trying to, to hunt down that single ship, things would have been different. That would have been a very different patrol, I think. Especially once we got the uh, escorts to go to the rear of the convoy. I definitely would have like been dipping up and down with the deck gun, for sure. It's very dangerous. I don't recommend it, but it's doable. It is doable. Well, thanks, DZ. Appreciate it, my guy. Anyway, folks, hope you all had fun. I really do. Um, appreciate it, V. 100% my guy. Uh, sorry there, Can. That's not going to work on YouTube. Let me see if I can fix that for you. Those are the mods I'm currently running. If you can't see those, they'll be in... Um, they'll be listed in my dedicated videos. Not my stream videos, my dedicated ones. I haven't done up a, uh, a little blurb for that yet. I have not done the blurb yet. Not done the blurb. All right, folks, listen again. I hope you had fun. That's going to do it for me. Until next time, I have been lightly salted. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in.